I've got a couple racks of baby back ribs. I've got to get them cleaned up before they go on the smoker. And I'm going to show you how I remove the membrane. Now, if you've never removed the membrane from any sort of pork ribs, baby back, St. Louis cut, full spare ribs, it's really not that hard. And the reasons to do it are to allow better smoke penetration, better penetration of the rub, because that back side of the rib with that membrane on, it's a barrier. Things don't get through it. Now, in my personal opinion, there are times when you can leave the membrane on, especially if you're cooking ribs to be almost fall off the bone. That membrane will help hold it together. But generally, I prefer to take the membrane off. And it's not hard. The only things you need to be able to remove a membrane easily are a blunt table knife and paper towels. I've got my two racks right here. The first thing I'm going to do is flip them over. If this is an unfamiliar step to you, just let me show you really quick what we're looking at here. This white sort of reflective thing you see there, that's the membrane. And that is what we're going to get rid of today. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a spot along the ribs. And I like to start maybe three bones down in. And what you're going to do is you're going to find one of the bones and you're going to slide your knife underneath. So once your knife is underneath, what you're going to do is you're going to gently lift. On occasion, you may not even need the paper towels. You may be able to grip this and pull the membrane off in one fell swoop with no paper towels. But I'm going to use them just to show you how they come in handy. So now we get our fingers under here. And this works best with ribs that are thawed. You can see we have our membrane here, and it's pretty slippery. I mean, it's not easy to get a grip on. But with that paper towel, it's much easier. So we're just going to grip this with some paper towel, and we are going to pull. As you can see, that membrane came off all in one piece. We've just got a little bit more of it down here to clean up. Now, it doesn't always come off that easy, but if you get a good start here, and I like to start like three ribs in, peel it up from the end, get a good grip on that amount, and pull it this way. Let's get this last little bit off of here. Same principle. If you can't get a good grip on it, find the nearest bone, get under it, lift it up, take a paper towel, and pull. And once you get the membrane off, any of these extra little pieces and the fat that might be stuck here that you want to get rid of any of the excess, all you need is a knife just to get in there and trim those pieces up so you have a nice looking rack of ribs. So let's do this one now. Let's switch places, get this guy in, and I'm going to do the same thing. Coming about three or four ribs from the end, I'm going to come right in under the membrane. And they're not all as easy as that first one. Sometimes they break. This spot on this rack of ribs is a little wider, so Getting the knife all the way through isn't always easy, so you may not be able to do that. So now I'm going to get my hands under there. See, this one's ripping in two spots, so we're going to have to go two different directions. Doesn't always work perfectly the first time. But let's make sure we separate all of that membrane all the way across the bone. And now we're just going to start grabbing it and pulling. You can see how the paper towel comes in really handy. Have yourself a good little supply of them ready so you're not grabbing some from the paper towel roll. You can see we kind of ripped it as we went along. You do. Get under it again there. Get the end of it. Get a good grip. And pull. There we go. We're ready just to clean up any other little bits of stuff that are left on here. If you've never removed the membrane from the back side of a rack of ribs, doesn't matter if they're baby back, St. Louis cut, pork spare ribs, it's simple and it does help the flavor of the rib when you're adding your rub 
and the smoke. That took all of about three minutes, the actual process, to get that off, not counting all the filming and everything. It's not that big a chore. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a like. It sure does help. And if you're interested in any of the things that I used in this video, I'll put links down in the description below, and that way you can check them out yourself. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. And if you do, make sure you click that bell. That way you'll get a notification anytime I put out a new video. Thank you all for watching. I got some ribs to cook. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.